How y'all doing today? I'm coming at y'all with another one of my three to five minute videos. Today is basically on uh, how to change your door hinge pin in your door. I have a 2000 Mustang and uh, I'm sure a lot of people out there has experienced this problem when you open your door and it kind of sags and you go to shut it and you start driving the car and the door comes open. So today I'm just making a little short video just to kind of help everybody hopefully be able to figure out how to do this kind of quickly and um, and efficient. Yeah, first of all, I want to show you uh, basically all the tools that I think is involved. I got a drill, a flashlight. Uh, you may need a couple different kind of hammers. You need a half inch wrench. You need a drill. Your drill is going to be a 13 32nd. Also, you will need a kit, which is right here. It's your new pin and the drive through and also the cotter pin. The part number on this is 38438. I'm being very specific because when you go to the store and you ask them, they kind of look at you like you're crazy, like there's nothing to do to fix this. Anyway, with that said, we're going to move on down here just for a quick little demonstration. Anyway, what I've done here today is I basically used all the jacks that I, I have to kind of help balance my door. You may also, if you got somebody to help you, that would even be even better. But like I said, just kind of balance the door with as many jacks as you got. And then from there, you're going to come right on down here. You're going to open your door as wide as you can. And basically what it is, is there's four bolts. I've already unbolted everything, so that way I wouldn't have to waste time showing you that. But there's four bolts. One, two, three, four. Basically, once you back them out and you take them out, your door becomes real flimsy. You're going to notice there's a wiring harness that goes through right here. You can just be careful. I'm trying to avoid taking that off today. So what I have done is I've just taken the four bolts out and I've kind of just pulled my door back a little bit. And now I'm able to kind of move my hinges. And here's the problem right in here. But as you can see, the top hinge normally doesn't go bad. It's this bottom hinge. So with that said, I'm going to do this in a couple segments today. So I'll be back in just a few with segment number two. Okay, segment two of my 2000 Mustang. I'm changing the door hinge pin today. I'm trying to save everybody a couple extra uh, steps. But anyway, uh, I went ahead and uh, pulled out a couple more twos. And uh, one of the twos you need is some WD-40 here. That's going to be your cutting oil to try to cut this hinge out of here uh, with a little hacksaw. Uh, basically, it's going to take about... Seven to ten minutes to cut this out of here. It's a little tedious because down here basically what happens is Let me get this position correctly so you guys can see here, but uh basically what I've done is I flip my hinges around Where they're facing me where I can actually get in there and the hinge pin is Take my glove off is right here And of course if you come down here, you notice this one is okay. Everything looks good up in there if I come down here to the bottom, this light position here, look at the damage in there. The bottom of that hinge pin. So get this position. But that's why this thing is so rocky. So basically what I've done is, I got a hacksaw and, like I say, it's kind of tedious, but you want to get down in there. I've already cut it. Just to show you, there's the damage I was trying to show you guys right here. Uh, the old stuff that we're getting ready to take out and get replaced. But basically what I've done with, you only got a short little sawing motion here. And I have my finger in here in this position. And I basically just sawed through this. All the way through. And basically what now that I've done that, what that does is that eliminates you having to try to grind the top off. And hopefully we'll be able to pop these out of here. We'll take a, a screwdriver and we'll put it in between here. And we'll pop the bottom. And the top out. And all that other stuff is going to uh, fall out. So uh, basically, after we're said and done, I'll be back for segment three of hopefully putting everything back together. At this point, you're basically going to just get everything out. You notice this is wiggling. You're going to basically try to knock the pin out from the top, the pin out from the bottom. 
And that's when we're going to, uh, I'll, I'll be back shortly for another segment. And then I'll talk to you about drilling and uh, replacing. We'll be back shortly. I just want to do a side note real quick before I finish taking this hinge off. Once I cut that hinge in half, once you've seen a little bit ago in the video, I put my screwdriver in between the pin and I knocked it in to kind of separate it. The top pin kind of popped and it came out. And then I just took something on the top and I put it on there and I knocked it down. As you can see, it's down here at the bottom. And I'm just going to continue to go ahead and pull it out from the bottom. Once that's down, I can take this whole hinge out here. This whole hinge is going to come out. And that's where I'm going to do a little bit of drilling. All right. Back at it here on this 2000 Mustang door hinge, hinge pin exchange. Anyway, uh, we got the door hinge uh, off. Just want to kind of show you what what it looks like off the car kind of clean it up a little bit I used quite a bit of lubricants to get this thing off of here once I got the uh, the pin cut in half I uh, sprayed some liquid wrench and all kinds of stuff down there just to get everything loosened up to get it off the car you want to dry all that off and it's up to you if you want to paint it up and make it look nice uh, before you put it back on there but I want to show you a little brass a little brass insert here here's the old one that came out Imagine that. Here's a new one. Here's the old one right here. This is what came out of, of the bottom. So what happens is it gets that play in there. And that's what makes this floppy and the door sags. So what we're going to do at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to put this in a vise. And uh, basically these two brass inserts here will go back in. To our hinge. Once that's all said and done, this is where we're going to drill our hole. Now, before you do any drilling, let me give you a little warning. Just do some investigating on your drill bit and make sure, because once you drill these holes and they're too big and these cannot go in there snug, you're going to have to go out and purchase you a new hinge. So just uh, take your time on that. But like I said, I already uh, told you what size bit. Which uh, is a 15 30 second bit uh, that goes along with this uh, little rebuild here. So I'll be uh, back shortly again with uh, just showing you guys how to put everything back in. Um, takes about 5 to 10 minutes to uh, show you that and we'll be back. Now once you have drilled your hole out, you want to take your little insert and stick it in the hole it should be real snug and you should take it and just knock it down in there with the hammer make sure you hit it right in the middle steady motions until it gets down in there all the way flesh to the bottom after that you are ready to paint it up and put it back on the car okay here we are last segment in our uh 2000 Mustang door pin hinge replacement. There it is. Everything's all cleaned up. Got all the oil dried up and all that good stuff. All prepped up and ready to put the uh, door hinge all back in. I got it prepped up. Got the uh, new inserts and all that above in. Uh, made sure that everything is nice and lined up and straight in all the way. And made sure that my new pin is going to slip into my new feed throughs without a whole lot of problems now I'm gonna make a side note here because this video is about to end but basically to put this back together is pr it's pretty simple you're doing it basically what you did to uh, to get it all back it's actually gonna probably be a little bit easier but what you're gonna do is you're gonna slide this back in place just the way it came out once you get it slid in place you want to make it where you can work with it Let me turn it uh, right side up correctly here. Once you get it slipped back in there, you want to get it in there. And here's the biggest key. This pin right here, it goes in from the bottom. 
Okay, so you're going to want to have this opened up all the way. So once you get that in there, you're going to want to hammer that up in there. And you're going to want to hammer it up all the way through till it comes up through the top. And then you're going to take that little C-clamp that came with the package. And you're going to make sure it's in that little insert. Once that's done, you're going to get somebody to help you line your door back up. And bolt the door back on just the way we bolted it off. And guess what? Voila. Just like that. Brand new door hinge pin. Once again, I just want to take a minute and say thank you for watching my short video. Hopefully this will make it a little bit easier for you. When you're dealing with something that really only takes maybe an hour or two. Just to get out there and just do a little short. Make it happen. Have a great day. All done. Like brand new.